Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on The Miz. Awesome. So we finally have another Miz in the game and uh, he looks fantastic. Uh, the They did a great job with this model. He looks really, really good. Uh, so he's a modern era showboat and he's got a couple links. He's got the Miz and John Morrison link. Take 80% less damage from any color move. That's a pretty strong tag link. Uh, should work pretty well in Showdown. He has Raw, any color move, start with one more move point, and Modern Era, gems do 5% more damage. He has one gear, the awesome gear. He is a coach. At 9k, multiply gems do 15% more damage. Pretty nice coach. I don't have any of the multiply gem coaches yet, so maybe I can get him and have one. Um, so let's get in here, take a look at the move sets. I actually have five move sets for you guys today. You can do a lot of different stuff with Miz, even more when you have a strap and plates. Um, so we're going to do five different move sets, and uh, you guys can see what you think. Uh, so let's get in here and take a look at the first move set. It's going to feature the Skull Crushing Finale. 18 MP finisher, yellow, deal 213,000 damage and gain 4 blue MP. Uh, the reversal, 4 MP yellow, deal 295,000 damage and gain 591,000 health. That's a kick out. So 4 MP kick out that deals a bunch of damage and heals. That is my favorite move that he has. And the Russian leg sweep. Uh, deal 3k damage and make 4 random black gems into yellow gems. That is only 1 MP. This move set will be available at 3 star. I'm going to have 2 3 stars for you guys, 2 4 stars, and a 5 star move set. I think I like the 5 star the most, but it depends on things. Um, so the entourage, we're going to go and buff the reversal and the finisher as much as we can. No MP trainers. Orton for 45% more yellow move damage. Big E for 45% more yellow move damage. Then we're going to run um, Robo Cena to take 20% less damage from reds. And Rikishi to help charge the finisher. Um, you can see here where it says gain health of over a million. That's not accurate. The move damage guys do not buff that. So it's still going to be 591,000 health. Um, it does buff the kick out. We're going to deal uh, well over 500,000 with that. Um, so let's get out here on the road. I'm going to go against 5-star uh, Silver Drew. He is strapped, and we are not. So he's got the normal 50% um, gem reduction, 40% move reduction. So he's strapped. I do have tour perks, plus 2 MP and plus 1 in a match. And wouldn't you know it, right out the gate, I crashed. That's okay, though. Uh, I can talk about his... Uh, for, for this set, I would go double takedown. Um, to buff that reversal kick out and the finisher, and obviously yellow percentage move damage. Uh, anytime you see the kick out yellow percentage move damage metal is going to be key. Doesn't matter if it's takedown, vitality, armor, padded, just uh, any one you have, the highest one you have that is percentage uh, will be the way to go. Um, so uh, that that's going to be key for him. Um, plates, I'm thinking cheap shot and and or head games for this build set um those are probably going to be the best all right let's try this again hopefully that's the one crash for the video i could edit that out in uh in post but um then you guys would miss all that fantastic information i just gave you that would be horrible So yeah, Miz looks great. They did an awesome job with this model. Um, yellow match is ideal, and you want to get pinned. So I could hit this and change those black um, to yellow, but I have a yellow match here, and I could take the five match, but again, we want to get pinned. So you're going to play Miz differently. You want to get pinned. Um, you're going to take a little bit of damage, not much, but you're going to heal it all up. So this is great. This is exactly uh, what I want. I want to get pinned. Now, he has the finisher loaded, um, but uh, if things work out great, he'll use the non-finisher move first and pin me, and then he'll be ready to go again with the finisher, and we can match another yellow and do a kick out again. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a three match and, again, not hit any moves. 
Of course, it'll probably have one left on the pin bar now. Boy, I called that one left on the pin bar. <laughs> That's okay, though. We still get to kick out. So, there goes our life. We're down to 1.7 million. Oh, no. See, we did 500,000 damage right there. Now, it doesn't show up until you take your next action. So, don't panic. Once I click this, watch his life just melt to, like, 1.3 million there it is, 1.3 million. Uh, ooh, we got a 5 match. Now, in this case, uh, I you definitely want to load the kick out. Um, so, why not take the 5 match? Let's do it. Especially because we can move it back to center here. Now, if you, you, you can hold the finisher, because that's really how you, you know, uh, you could do gem swipes or use the finisher to end the match. So I could hold it, one more kick out, possibly keep him down, or I could use it. I'm just going to go ahead and use it here. Skull crushing finale. Boom. 366,000 damage. Uh, it would be a lot higher with a move metal. I would say probably... Probably upwards of 700,000 with the two move damage trainers, maybe a little bit more. Uh, so, significant. And here we have our kick out ready again. He's got his finisher ready, so I'm getting pinned no matter what. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the move. Hopefully get the five match here. Nope. Not that it matters, but we could get closer to recharging that finisher. So I'll just take a yellow match. Reload the kick out. And this will put him completely into danger. Um, and we're going to end up uh, full life. So pretty strong moveset. He's going to be extremely annoying on defense. Like, the most annoying guy ever on defense. And uh, this should pin him right here. So there you go. That's the first moveset. That's available at 3-star. You can see, against another 5-star silver, we're entering the match completely full life. Um, and that's against a fully strapped, and we are not strapped. Um, that kick out will do massive damage. Um... With a, with a move metal, 300,000 uh, base. Um, that's going to end up... I should have done that math ahead of time. I apologize. 300,000 base times... And then the two move trainers. We, we won't even count takedown metals. It should be... Oops, we click the right button. Two, yeah, the kickout should be doing, like, easily 900,000 damage. Um with a tier 4 yellow percentage metal, uh, or right near 900,000. It's going to be a pretty ridiculous finisher. Okay, enough about that. We're going to go on to the second build set. Um, for this one, I am actually going to go against Vader. Um, I know he's under-leveled and all of that stuff, um, but without having the move damage metal, uh, I cannot make this move set uh, work right against a five star silver. I will just lose um, because the finisher isn't strong enough to keep anyone down, and I'll have to cycle very, very many times. Um, so we're going to go against Vader. And then we'll go back, and everything else should be against um, Drew, against another five star silver. So. Gonna bring the big boot in and the flapjack. Also, this way I can show you guys the flapjack. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using the flapjack. So that's the other reason for even uh, even going this one. This one's available at three star two. Now, if this finisher were to be gained seven blue MP, that would change things as it would recycle. That would be nice, um, but still. And then I would probably run him uh, dual blue MP trainers. Um, so, uh, yeah. But as it is, we're going to go with uh, Lawler. 
for more blue MP to start, and I need to cover the moves. So there, we're going to keep the Skull Crushing Finale in. We're going to go to the Flapjack, which is deal 30,000 damage um, and modify a 3x4 random area into Reinforced Gems. That's 7 MP blue. The other one is 8 MP blue. Big Boot, deal 30k damage, and choose a 3x3 area to swap into yellow gems. So you're going to you're going to load that finisher every time. And I'm apparently blind and can't find Oh, it's cuz he's not equipped. I'm a genius. Here we go. And uh we'll go with uh double um gem defense trainers. So I'm going to go with um Zombie Asuka if she does black and um here we go all right so obviously lawler for more blue mp to start um showboat orton for more move damage and then the two gem defense guys again i would run this one double takedown to buff the finisher and the boss plate would be the very best plate uh, I can think of for this situation. Uh, it doesn't matter what we match, we're ready next turn, so yellow's gonna be the most damage, so I'll take that. So we're gonna make a random area into reinforce. And then we're gonna fill that in with yellows and charge the finisher. Uh, there's a decent chance we'll pin. Let's see. We didn't. That's so. That's that's really good uh, that we didn't pin. I could hit the finisher, um, and maybe I'll get unlucky with the cascade. But I want to get a blue swipe. So now the finisher will refill his moves in case we don't keep him down. But I got a feeling we probably will, although Vader tends to be the Cascade King, and there's this swipe right here that won't work out well for me. Like that. So, if the finisher gets were to have 7 MP, this would be ready all the time. If not, a little bit more dangerous. However, uh, you would have the boss plate to back up on, um, so there'd be some crossbreak gems out there, so that would help with the recycle. You could also use the cheap shot if you don't have boss plate. And uh, this should do it. Well, we'll probably pin here, and uh, it may not kill him all the way, so. I think it will. We're definitely going to pin. So I might as well try and get the most out of it. Yeah, and that'll do it for that move set. We'll go back to Drew now for the rest of them. Um, that one is just really hard to to show, and I don't want a like ten minute match uh, with Drew where it's back and forth. Because um, if you don't get a blue match, that can get that can get ugly with that. So without metals. So on to the next build. This is a tricolor build um, and potentially my favorite build along with the five star. This one it, it's 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 weird um, and it but you'll see we'll we'll I'll talk more when we get in there um, and I'll and we'll go over it. So we're going to keep the reversal in. You're probably noticing a theme at this point. The reversal is just about everywhere. That's because, in my opinion, it's his best move. So I'm trying to build everything around the reversal. And then we're going to bring in the eye poke, which is the four-star move. So this one's available starting at four-star. You guys haven't seen it yet. And we're going to keep the big boot in there for the yellow gems. So tricolor build. Um, the only new one is the eye poke. One MP purple. Deal 3k damage and decrease the damage of all your opponent's gems by 100% for two total turns. This includes both your turns and your opponent's turn. Uh, for the Entourage, we're going to 
Um, yeah, we're going to keep this the same. Big E works just as well as Orton. They're both yellow move damage. And we're going to keep Lawler in there for blues. And then we're going to put Trickster Andre in there. So that we uh, get an extra gem on a match uh, for blue. Okay, let's get in there. Uh, I would definitely run this one double armor. We're trying to take advantage of the eye poke and the 3x3 three three area uh, to get a wild card. So basically why I say you play it weird is we want to be able to make a wild card, which means we need a fair amount of pin bar. Um, so ideally you don't want to do anything that's more than a three match. Uh, so you want to be careful where you swipe. Um, I could take yellow. I'm going to go ahead and take the blue here. It feels safer. Good. Now, you can see we're going to take no gem damage, which is great. What we want to set up is uh, three by three and not have it cascade and then do a gem swipe so we can hit this move twice. Pin bars moved a little bit. We got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 notches. So that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and go for it and try to get the pin without cascading um, and show you guys what the goal of this build is. Right here looks fairly safe. Um, so let's hope we don't get a cascade. Perfect. That's exactly what you want. Now we just need to not cascade on the swipe. And... Excellent. So now we've hit this twice. So that means we're up to 200% and four turns including ours and his. Um, or three actually I think it is. But watch what happens now. When he does a match, he's going to take damage. See how that went up to 119,000? So, if you were to do this with double armor um, and boss plate, we'd have the boss plate out there and he would stay down um, almost for sure. And on the plus side, we have the kick out for when we take damage. And it'll deal a bunch of damage to him as well. Recycling would be a little bit hard, but that's why the boss plate's in there. It would certainly speed that up. And also, I would run this without Lawler um, and use Honky Tonk Man if I had a strap. For the preview, it doesn't really work. Um, you can see, though, we chewed a big chunk of his life down with the kick out and we're going to be able to kick out again here and do a bunch more damage he's got the finisher loaded so we want to be able to load our kick out again which we can there's a yellow match right there and also, we won't be taking any gem damage, so it'll just be the move damage on his finisher, which is nice. So we're only going to take 84k damage. So it's going to... It works out really well where you don't take much damage and you can kick out of just about everything. Um, so definitely like this move set. It has the potential, I think, when it's set up strapped in Honky Tonk Man to win very quickly. And of course, at this point, you know the drill. I'm going to get the kick out loaded. It would be nice to take the blue swipes. Uh, if I don't need to kick out or load the kick out and get yellow, I would take the blue swipe so we can try and set up another uh, wild card situation where when he swipes, he does damage and makes the pin bigger.
And boss plate would also change the whole complexion of this. Now, uh, I want to cover something. So if I didn't have a yellow match, I would not try and kick out right away. I'd do a swipe to try to make a yellow match. So you want to play this smart. And if you play it smart, you're usually going to always be able to do something to get that kick out loaded. Whether it's a blue match or a yellow match, um, etc. And he's going to hit the finisher. I'm going to take the row break, get an extra blue. Reload that kick out. Now the blue's loaded too, so we're in a very good spot. Because the blue move loads the kick out as well. And he can't kick out. So, there's that move set. You have to use your imagination for how strong it'll be with double armor. And uh, Honky Tonk Man in place of Lawler. Uh, that would be very, very, very hard to kick out of uh, when you set that wild card up. Uh, pretty much impossible would be my guess. All right, next move set. And this is one of those that this is probably what the AI would play well. So I would say this one is probably going to be his most annoying defensive build. Um, the AI would probably play this one. Oops, I didn't change the... We're just going to lose the match. Uh, we don't need to see that again. Because I didn't change my trainers. I clicked the wrong button. Just have to burn some health packs. Sorry, guys. Oops. Wrong. Okay. So this, the, the, going back to what I was saying, um, the AI should play this one pretty flawlessly. And the key to this one, you're just buffing the heck out of the kick out. Um, and this is, this is the defensive build. It's not going to be very fast on offense, uh, but it'll be super annoying on defense because uh, you're kicking out of everything. Um, so we're going to go back to that Russian leg sweep, the 2-1 MPs, and then the kick out, all moves we've seen before. And we're going to go back to double yellow damage trainers, so we're doing 500k damage on the kick out. And um, I will go double gem defense as well. Um, obviously, if you had cards that added yellow move damage, if you had Hall of Fame Rude or Gooker, uh, those would be better. Um, but those are pretty rare. So for this one, we're just going to use uh, two gem defense coaches. You could use any two. It doesn't matter. Um, and we're the, we're the goal is to take no damage and just keep kicking out and killing him that way. This is going to be a lot of health packs. 152. Miz has a lot of hit points. All right. Here we go. Again, I would double take down this. Um, you could go, like, a lot of people might be like, ah, you should use double armor for all of these. Uh, there's no point, really, because every turn you're putting the buff out, so you're not taking any gem damage anyway. Um, and you don't want to move the pin bar, right? Uh, because we want to get pinned, because that's our source of damage. So I'm actually not going to hit the move, um, and I'm not going to take the yellow, probably because I want to keep yellow on the board for me. So I'm just going to take that blue... Oh, of course, I got a big cascade. That didn't work how I wanted it to, because we want to get pinned. But the point is to try not to get pinned, or try not to move the pin bar, rather. Um, that's the whole goal. Come here. Although, if I can move the pin bar far enough to... Um, set it back to the middle, that would be great. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do that. Uh, of course, that didn't work out for me either. That's okay. Again, we want him to get his moves because that's our offense is him doing his moves. So we'll leave the red for him. And now we're going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and leave the blacks and yellows on the board as much as possible. Um, we'll take the black. Of course, we'll cascade into those yellows. So he's going to hit this, and we're going to take zero gem damage.
Then he's going to hit the finisher. We're going to take zero. Oh, he's going to hit that. Hopefully he'll pin us. And then we can kick out on the finisher as well. It'll go faster. No such luck. I'm going to do zero gem damage there. Okay, he recycled his moves. Now, what I was saying earlier, as you can see, we don't have a yellow match. Um, we are set up to make one with the blacks here. Um, if those two get made, but I'm not 100% confident in that. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so there's no guarantee we're going to get that yellow match. So you want to try and wiggle the pin bar a little bit. Still no guarantee on a yellow. Oops. See, and that's... that's I run, ran the danger of kicking out, which I did. So, double-edged sword there. It's okay. We're going to get pinned again right here, so it's not the end of the world. But the key is you don't. You want to have the kick out ready, um, especially when you're going against a big strapped opponent like this. If I was strapped, I would have just hit the kick out guaranteed, not worried about it, because um, I know I can swipe and kick out. In this case, not so much. Okay, let's not overthink it this time. Let's actually... Let's just kick out. I'm not going to go through all that again. They'll land where they land. But this one, I don't see the AI really being able to mess up. And it's just going to annoy the crap um, out of you when you're going against it. And he's kicking out of everything. And you're doing no gem damage. Nice board for us. Hopefully he'll cascade and uh, we can get pinned. Again, I could take the row break, but there's no reason. I want to always move the pin bar as little as possible to keep me closer to getting pinned. So it's a different way of playing. And it's not it's not fast, but you're like you're never gonna lose, and it's gonna be super annoying on defense. Good looking board. Should have no problems getting a match. And you can see Drew's about dead after just a few kickouts. Now, like I said, if when you're approaching like eight, nine hundred thousand damage with that kickout, you only need to do it like twice, um, and it's gonna go really fast, really, really fast. So, but up, up, um, looks like oh, there's green. Okay. Again, just try to leave as much yellow as you can. Um, yellow and black, so you give yourself outs if you need them. Drew's going to do a bunch of stuff and do very little damage. This, he's a really fun card. Um, very different, so I like it. I definitely hope I can get my hands on this card. Uh, the tag link with Morrison should be exceptionally good in showdown, uh, leading with either guy. It should be annoying, kind of like how the bushwhackers are annoying. And now we just need to move the pin bar enough. Which should be really easy. Come here. Okay. So that's that, and now we're going to move on to the five-star moveset. Um, probably my favorite, because it's probably the most, the fastest consistently. 
Um, and this is also potentially one the AI can't mess up and is going to be really annoying as well. Um, so this would be another really good defensive build. Um, we are going to switch the five-star move in, keep the reversal, and uh, sub the heck out of everybody. So here's the five star move, the figure four leg lock, five MP sub, super low charge on all of his moves except the finisher and the blues. So not all of his moves, but half of his moves have a super low charge. How about that? The reversal we're going to keep and we're going to keep the Russian leg sweep. So the figure four leg lock, it is a submission and uh, you place four gems and it does 19,988 damage for four turns. That's only 5 MP. Entourage, we're loading up subs. Everything is about the subs on this one, so. We're going to have AJ. So the sub lasts three more turns. We're going to put uh, Stone Cold Austin in, 316. So it adds 50% more damage. Then we're going to put Drew in for one more turn and 50% more damage. Drew's a little bit more rare um, trainer, but he's not like incredibly, incredibly rare. So he is attainable and there's been a lot of him, his shards in bags and stuff lately. So hopefully you guys have him. Uh, Shelton was a chase card. Uh, he buffs the sub even more, another 15%. Uh, so we're looking at 42,000 damage a turn for eight turns. So um, 330,000 damage sub every cycle and it fills with five MP. Um, and you got the kick out. So again, we want to be pinned. The goal is to be pinned. So you're trying to move the pin bar as little as possible, and the sub is nice for that because that can end your turn uh, without moving the pin bar. Um, you do want a yellow match um, to get the, the sub ready to go. So there is that. Um, but the kickout is ready. So instead of hitting the move, I'm just going to go ahead. Eh, you know what? I'll just hit the move. Why not? It'll probably make this four match and make me not. Oh, that's. Yep. Oh, well, that's fine. It pinned him. That's actually great because that moves the pin bar back to center. <laughs> Perfect. Because um, you're going to drain him every, t every turn with the sub pretty much. Um, if you don't have Shelton or Drew, you could put um, Rikishi on there. Uh, and then in this situation, if you make a three match, the the sub is ready to go. So you can make a three match um, with the blacks into yellows and have the sub ready the same turn. So sub does good damage. Um, he managed to escape. And again, move the pin bar as little as possible. So we're just going to do a swipe. And then we're going to sub. And we're going to be really close next turn to getting pinned. So we can do the kick out. But the sub's pretty chunky, so... Um, this, again, the AI won't be able to mess this one up. It's going to be super annoying because it's going to drain you. Your match is going to take forever. Uh, he's going to be a defensive nightmare. Uh, a lot of people will be tossing him in their feud lineup just so you have to play against it. Probably going to end up moving the pin bar more than I want here, like that. But it does get the sub ready. Again, this is another build. Like, I really don't see losing with this build um, if you're playing it offensively. And the AI is going to make, uh, you know, we'll just make, if you don't win turn one. Uh, it's just going to make uh, this build a real pain. Real pain to play against. It's 
Should load this up. Perfect. Especially with sub perks and stuff. Um, I believe this month for Feud, there's like a 100% sub perk. If you wanted to get that, um, you would do a lot of, like, double the sub damage as well. So, um, I'm only personally buying MP up perk for Feud this month, uh, based on the lineups I'm seeing. Um, we're just gonna do the swipe, try not to move the pin bar. Hey, we're going to be able to kick out after this. All right. Uh, double armor for this. Uh, so you're taking less damage because um, you're not... Um, you don't have the damage reduction move. So I would go double armor. Uh, cheap shot, head games, two words for you. Two words for you, if it lined up right, you could maybe do a swipe and, and get the, the pin bar moved if it was in, in a not good position for you. Like, pin them and reset it kind of thing. Also, um, but yeah, I mean, like, the plate I don't think is super important for this build set compared to a lot of builds. There's the kick out, and this is going to end him as soon as we can get a sub on him, which we will. Right here. So, bunch of different builds, bunch of different ways you can run them. Defensive superstar, and takes no damage doing it. Um, so he will he will really expand that part of your roster, um, and just give you a lot of options on defense. Slow people down in feud. Be super annoying in showdown. Uh, AI should be able to play at least two of those move sets extremely annoyingly. Um, so there you guys have it. Uh, the Miz, awesome, at uh, five star silver. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you had a favorite move set, um, I hope I get him. So hopefully you guys can get him. Maybe some of us will get lucky. Um, so have a good weekend, guys. Enjoy your feud, and thanks for watching.